What's going on guys? Welcome back to Call of Duty World War II Supply Drop Openings on Black Tide TV. This will be the fourth main series supply drop opening on the channel and by far the largest. I've been saving my supply drops for a couple weeks in anticipation of the Winter Siege event. Unfortunately, the Winter Siege event brought out these new winter supply drops and so... You can't get winter items or the new supply drop items in regular supply drops and instead you have to use the winter drops which is kind of a pain but I did happen to rack up around 49 winter supply drops from the grind. So I have 49 winter supply drops, 74 regular supply drops and 62 rare supply drops. None of those were purchased with COD points that is all in-game currency and grinding. A total of 185 supply drops that I'll be opening for you today. We have a lot to go through, so I'm going to get started. The whole idea is I'm going to be going through the winter supply drops, trying to get the new weapons and the new variants, and trying to complete those collections in the Quartermaster. Whatever I don't get, I can go back to the Quartermaster at the end, use the armory credits that I get from my regular supply drops, and purchase the rest of the items in those specific collections that are going to give me the new weapons. So I think we'll start off with the winter supply drops because those are the happening thing right now. So we want to get right into the really fun stuff. I've been seeing a lot of people have very, very good luck with the winter supply drops. I, I see a lot of heroics and a lot of epics popping up. Maybe not necessarily from the winter items themselves, but I've found that there are a lot of other items that are dropping next to the winter items that are heroic and epic. So hopefully we have some luck there as well. Hopefully everyone kind of comes over and starts watching the supply drop opening because I kind of went on my mic before I started and I was like, okay, children, gather around. We're going to be doing a supply drop opening here, trying to get as much social score as I possibly can. It's going to take a long time to rank up all that social score. 51st Naval Armored Epic. That is a brand new winter item. Looks pretty cool. I'm not getting too many duplicates already as well. I'm not sure if they've added in new regular items as well as the winter items because, I don't know, I, I haven't done an opening in a while so I wouldn't know, but these pistol grips do, do look different. Bear of the East, I've never seen that before. So maybe they have added in new items that aren't technically winter items that are in the regular drops that I'm going to be seeing more of. But as you can see up there, I've got 25,000 armory credits, so I don't think I should have a problem once I get some of these items out of the collections to finish the collections off myself. So far, we haven't seen any weapon variants, anything really great here. We're only a couple supply drops in, so I'm not too worried about it. Ship, emblem, they have added in new items, new filler items to the supply drops, especially in these winter drops. There's new pistol grips. There are new emblems, which there's another emblem, flak. There are new helmets or hats. There's a heroic item. And it's cherry picker 2, which I don't have yet. Armored heroic. This is another little thing that I like that they've added, is they've actually added a descripting term on the bottom of each of the items. So now, if you get a variant, it actually says the name of the weapon that that variant is for. If you get an outfit, it says the name of that outfit and what class you're going to use it on, what division. It never did this before, so I'm really, really happy that they actually added that in. Because it was really hard looking at some of the very strange variants and being like, uh, what weapon is for that? Is that for exactly? Like the duck suit, PPSH-41. I actually really like this variant. I haven't I haven't had it, obviously. It's brand new. There is no duck suit mark too, but this one actually looks really cool. It's really different looking. I, I really like it. So I'm pretty glad I got that, actually. It wasn't a winter variant, but hey, I'll take any variants that I can. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. This one's going to be a long one, so I, I I would understand if you don't want to stay tuned to the end. But at the end of the video, I usually head into the armory, and I show you guys all my new variants and what they all look like in-game. An epic emblem from the Winter Supply Drops. I'm actually okay with getting the epic emblems or whatever, because that's taking out the epics and stuff that I need from the Quartermaster Collections. The more epics from the winter selection that I get, even if they aren't variants, the better. Because it's going to make buying the variants a lot easier. Hedgehog, another emblem. I'm getting a lot of emblems from these winter supply drops. It would be nice to get, I don't know, something else. There's an epic, possible chance. Oh, it's a helmet. Silverback helmet. Pretty cool. It's going to be my first new helmet from DLC. Heroic. Heroic. And it's the backflip emote. Really? 
I've seen people doing this backflip. I, I assumed it was pretty rare, but I mean, I've seen a lot of people getting it. Why there has to be heroic emotes, like that really got my hopes up and now my, my hopes and dreams are kind of crushed. There's another helmet, the Winter M35 Pilotka, which is more just like a, a cap. It's like a little navy cap. Continuing here, we got the Hardpoint Emblem. So yeah, I'm just, I'm not really, there's another helmet actually. I'm getting lots of helmets from these Winter Supply Drops all of a sudden. We started out getting a lot of uh, emblems and now we're getting a lot of helmets. It'd be great if I could get a weapon in here at some point though. There's another helmet. I'm going to have all the helmets by the end of this opening. British Air Force Legendary Airborne, which I don't have yet. Team Deathmatch Emblem, another emblem, and a couple duplicates from the regular items. I sincerely hope I get a variant here. I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of drops to not be giving me a variant. There's another epic. Old Ironsides Armored, and another emblem. I'm getting a lot of common items, and I've already actually seen duplicates as well. I already have the flag top. I've already seen duplicates of some of these winter items, so that's not, uh, I'm not very impressed about that. Forest Sapper Expeditionary Epic. Okay. Short Fuse, couple pistol grips. Those are all duplicates. Even that winter emblem is a duplicate. I think the, the winter items, if you're getting duplicates, you should be getting serious, serious salvage. Not 10. 10 armory credits for a winter, a, an exclusive, limited time duplicate. I should be getting more than 10 armory credits. There's another heroic. Come on, variant. Heroic. Oh, 60 second naval 2. Okay, it's an armored outfit. My armored outfits that I currently have are all kind of terrible. So, okay. And British Navy officer I've already got. At least you get some serious armory credits for duplicates of epic items. I don't think I've had a duplicate of a heroic yet, but I'd love to see how much uh, salvage you get for that. Still no winter variants. Siberian SVT-40. I've never even seen that variant before, so that's kind of cool. I didn't know that was a thing. SVT-40 Siberian. It looks like the Mark II is going to look really nice, but I don't know about that Mark I. Hey, a machine pistol. I've been waiting to get a machine pistol variant. Looking through the menus of the game, there are a ton of machine pistol variants. And I finally got one, so that's pretty cool. Duplicate, duplicate, and another helmet. The ATS cap. Like I said, I'm going to have all the helmets by the time we're done here. And apparently none of the variants, so that's lovely. Old soldier pistol grip. Could care less. Another common item here. Tank emblem, which I already have. Three duplicates. Man, if I do not get a winter variant here, that's ridiculous. I've opened up 49 supply drops. Oil can waff, which looks terrible. The oil can too looks a lot, a lot nicer, but the, the regular oil can is pretty beat up. 30 armory credits. I love that filler stuff right there. The 30 and the 10 armory credits. Like, Or I could just get duplicates. There's another epic. And it's the emblem that I already have. Are you serious? Five more winter supply drops to go. Clearly, I'm going to have better luck with my regular supply drops. I've had that team deathmatch emblem six or seven times by this point, I'm sure. Another legendary. Or rare. Not even a legendary. Threaten emote gesture. I thought I had that, but apparently not. We got another legendary here, or rare, sorry. And XP, 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 which I do not need. That looks like another rare pistol grip and two duplicates. And the last winter supply drop. So I got, wow, that's fantastic. Wow, I'm honestly flabbergasted. 49 winter supply drops. And no winter variants whatsoever. You know how many winter variants there are of those new weapons? I've been doing the challenges and unlocking the base, the rare variants for each of them. But I at least expected one variant out of this whole drop. 49 supply drops. That is a lot. If you were to buy these with COD points, that's like $20. It's like $2 a supply drop. That's like $25 right there and no winter, winter variants at all. They did get a couple regular variants, which is cool. But I mean, if I wanted regular variants, I could just open up regular supply drops like I'm about to anyways. 
So we got uh, 74 commons and uh, 62 rares. I'm going to call them in right here. Kicking us off with an epic calling card. 73 to go. Another epic calling card. I don't have any of these epic calling cards, apparently. Epic Special Operations Executive Airborne. That looks really, really cool. I love the bright red outfits. They're totally, like, not good for actually playing and going on a good streak because you're so visible, but they just look so, so nice. 15 minutes of weapon XP. A lot of my weapons are maxed out, so that's not going to do me much. But I did like how I started with these common supply drops and immediately hit, like, four epics, epic drops in a row. Like, that's the way it should be. There's another epic drop right there. The Nightmare. Yes! I've wanted this Nightmare Car 98K since it was mistakenly placed in the Divisions. If you prestige your Divisions, you get a special variant if you max out your Division Prestige. And what I've come to realize is that when you hit the final Prestige with Mountain Division, they in the menu, it says you're going to get the Nightmare Car 98K, but you actually end up with the Fallen car 98k and i was like where's the nightmare i want the nightmare and i finally got it it's actually just a little bug i don't know if it's been fixed by now or not but five minutes of division xp that's not going to do me much good all of my divisions are completely maxed out the cherry picker armored i'm still thinking of how i got totally shafted on those last supply drops on those winter supply drops like totally totally shafted I can't believe it. I got so many duplicates too, so I probably won't even be able to buy certain variants in the Quartermaster after. Like, I better get a lot, a lot, a lot of armory credits here through my regular supply drops in order to be able to buy those ones later because that was absolutely ridiculous. Flames of War, 5 minutes of weapon XP. I'm getting... Everything is a duplicate except for the XP. More or less. Never forgotten calling card. Call it, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. 59 to go. We got an epic item. Empire. Type 100 Empire. I think I've seen this one. It doesn't look that great because it's a Mark 1. I. I think the Mark 2 looks really nice, but I think the Mark 1 is a little uh, glitchy. It's kind of like dirty and broken. Another duplicate there. A couple duplicate pistol grips. Gotta love that filler. Over there, Armored Advance, hang it up. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Heroic! Heroic. Navy Code Talker 2. I already have the original Navy Code Talker. I have the epic Navy Code Talker, but I guess I got Navy Code Talker 2 now. I mean, I don't mind the outfits. They're kind of nice, because I can like customize it my character or whatever, but even when you play on the Axies team, you don't get to wear those custom outfits anyway. So you only get to use them half of the time. And like when you're running around the headquarters or whatever, I just rather have the variants at all times because regardless of what team you're playing on, you always get to use your variants. Another heroic. heroic. Rookie 2. Nice. I've always wondered what this M1 Garand looks like. The rookie is in the uh, Quartermaster. You can purchase it with your armory credits. You can get all the different things to get the regular rookie. It's got a really neat iron sight. There's no circle. There's no hindsight. So it's just a foresight. So it could be really cool. Could be really bad. We'll have to see. Thanks. Five minutes of division XP and 10 armory credits. Another epic. epic. Duck soup. I already got that. <laughs> I've wanted it for so long and now I've got it twice in the same opening. What's a buzzin? Five minutes of weapon and five minutes of division. I should be able to exchange my division XP. Like you should be able to trade in xp if you want on something else like trade in my regular xp for weapon xp or trade in my division xp for regular xp because division xp is literally absolutely no good for me at all at this point tank buster 30 armory credits u.s tanker armored legendary okay it looks pretty plain there's another epic Lucky 7th, which I already have. 378 armory credits. I mean, that's not bad. 5 minutes of XP, the greaser, and 10 armory credits. 
Look at my social score. It's working away down there. It's going to take forever to hit max social rank. I think max social rank is 20 in the game, I've heard. And it's going to take like 250,000 score or something stupid. I'm trying to get to 20,000 here and it's taking forever. I'm just glad I have some people standing around watching the openings because I'm getting like six social score every time I open. You get plus one social score for each person watching every supply drop. Couple more duplicates, more division XP, which I should just get duplicate salvage for at this point. No, I don't want the friggin' XP itself. I already have that epic calling card. Three more, three more duplicates. XP, XP, and 10 armory credits. Like that kind of stuff just makes me angry. I don't want to see that. XP, armory credits, and armory credits because I got a duplicate. I, at the very least, give me something that's new. Those winter supply drops, by the way, that I got a whole bunch of duplicates on, those should be duplicate free if we're being real. Dynamo, toggle action, which, okay, I've got the flag top, now I've got the dynamo. I think there's a dynamo too as well. There are certain variants in this game, it's kind of strange. There are certain variants that have a Mark 1 and a Mark 2. Certain variants only come in Mark 1 and certain variants only come in Mark 2. It's very, very strange how the whole system works. 10 more armory credits. Still 30 supply drops to go here. And we're not even onto the rare onto the rare supply drops yet. 5 minutes of XP. There's another epic. Abware. I've already got that. Or Abware, whatever you want to call it. That was actually the very first uh, variant that I got in this game. If I'm not mistaken. Land Army Officer is a duplicate. Couple common items here. Duplicate, duplicate, and five minutes of weapon XP. Man, the duplicates are real today. Division XP all around, which is completely useless. I've said a couple times now. Good job. Battle stations. At least regular XP is good for all time. Well, for a good amount of time anyways, until you hit level 1000, which will take quite a bit of time. So, I mean, XP is good for people, but weapon XP and division XP, you can just max that out almost. Division XP, I must have maxed out all of my divisions within the first three weeks of playing this game. It's not hard to max out your divisions if you really put your mind to it. And most of my weapons are max rank prestige 2. So, even the weapon XP isn't that great. Heroic? heroic. Bite the dust 2. Nice. M1A1 carbine heroic. I like the M1A1. A lot of people hate on that weapon, but it's one of my favorite weapons in the game. Curiosity calling card. Actually, those are two brand new items, which is pretty neat. I'm just hoping some of these legendaries and epics are part of the incomplete collections that I have in the Quartermaster. I'm pretty close to completing most of my base collections. Juno, 1911. That's my first 1911 variant. I think that's the one that looks kind of weird with like the... There's no iron sight really on it, but we'll have to see. Pretty cool. Paint it green. I already have that. Support effort. And uh, yeah, three duplicates. 16 supply drops remaining. More XP, more XP, and a duplicate. <laughs> wow. Another epic. Talon Airborne. I haven't even seen that one before. That looks pretty neat. I mean, I think I have some heroic airborne outfits though, so... I tend to put on the heroics, even if I don't like them, I'll put on the heroic outfits over the epic outfits just to show them off. Couple commons and a rare, more division XP, more duplicates. Brutal. My first two supply drop openings, I did so well with very little duplicates, a lot of epics, a lot of heroics. And then my third supply drop opening was just like this with duplicate, 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 all this filler XPs and armory credits and things like that. And now this one is seemingly following the same trend with a bunch of filler stuff, armory credits, duplicates. This is brutal. Another epic. British Navy officer, which I already have. Eight supply drops remaining. These are still the commons, remember. We're going on to the rares next. One thing I forgot to mention during the winter supply drops is that I believe the winter supply drops are rare supply drops. I, I don't think there was any situation in the winter drops where I was getting 
uh, three common items. I think they are technically rare supply drops and you will get one rare or better item in every one that you open, but I, I'm not entirely certain. 30 armory credits. Legendary. Division XP. Division XP and 10 armory credits. I'm going to get that all the time now. Stupidest decision of my life was maxing out all of my divisions right off the beginning of the game. Another double epic for the last one here. We got the Roxy Grease Gun and Navy Code Talker for like the fourth time in this opening. But Roxy, pretty cool. I don't have any Grease Gun variants yet either. And now we are on to the rares. 62 rare supply drops. Excuse me, sir. This is this is my supply drop area here. Yeah. Can you please... All right, we're going to have to go over here. This guy's just chilling. He's checking me out. We've got rares. We've got commons. And more duplicates. Rare, rare, rare. I think traditionally throughout my supply drop openings, I've always had better luck with the commons and getting like epic and heroic items over the rares, but hopefully that doesn't hold true today because I didn't really see too, too many uh, epics and heroics. I'd like to see a couple variants in here in my rare supply drop loot. Legendaries, White Wolf, Armory Credits. Another rare and a couple commons, which I already have all that, which is just a bunch of Armory Credits again. There's another epic. epic. Stovepipe Panzer. Cool. I don't have it yet, so why not? We've got another rare and two commons. These are all duplicates. A couple commons and a rare. Those are all duplicates. Oh my gosh. This is brutal. 90 armory credits. The first time I think we've seen the legendary armory credits drop. I wonder what the epic armory credits are. 120? 150? Is there a heroic armory credits drop where you get 1,000 armory credits? Because that would be ridiculous. Regiment de Maisonneuve. Epic Expeditionary. I rarely use Expeditionary now. 15 minutes of Division XP. I've done my Expeditionary video. Ooh, is a heroic. heroic. Task Force 9-2. Mountain Division Heroics. It's just a ghillie suit. But I've finished my Expeditionary video. I've maxed out Expeditionary Division. I've done all my shotguns. The only time I ever really use it is when we have to get the Incendiary Round Kills as one of the dailies. That's the only time I'll use it. Another Heroic... Frontline 2, which I've already got. 1,000 armory credits. That's not bad. That's the first heroic duplicate I've had. 1,200 armory credits, I think that said. That isn't too bad at all, actually. That'll purchase, like, a rare, possibly a legendary item in the uh, Quartermaster. That's not bad at all. Bunch of armory credits. Keep going here. Legendary. Not yet lost. That's new. Pistol grip that's legendary. I still need around two thousand social score to get to to get to rank fourteen, and rank fourteen only gives you a rare supply drop. That's all it gives you for doing all of that work and ranking up. Crazy. Sophisticated Soviet sapper and fish food. That's three duplicates. There wasn't even any filler in that supply drop, and it was still duplicates. That's all filler. XPs and armory credits. Armory credits, duplicates, and ooh, a legendary pistol grip that I don't have. Hopefully that's part of one of the collections. Point blank, N1 bazooka. I have a lot of bazooka variants, but I guess I don't have that one. I think there's only two bazooka variants now that I don't have. Land armory officer, I think we've had that a couple times in this opening. Continuing on, a couple rares and a common. At least they're giving me regular XP now instead of that stupid division XP. We got a couple duplicates and more weapon XP. Hey, I'll be able to I'll be able to max out my Gewehr now. It's not bad with all that extra weapon XP. Ooh, double epic. Holtz pistol, which I got earlier. Three duplicates. Wow. See, I shouldn't even say anything, 
when I start the supply drop opening, I get, I'm like, oh man, I've been looking for this machine pistol, or I've been looking for the duck suit PPSH for all this time. And then I open it and I get it. And then I open another supply drop and I get it again. And then I open another and I just keep getting it. That's the second I say I've been waiting for something, I get it four times in a row. Dark Riveter Armored Epic and Forest Sapper for probably the third time in this opening. I'm getting so many outfits and so much filler and I'm not getting, I'm barely getting variants. I'm still, I am still salty that I did not get any variants in that winter supply drop. 49 winter supply drops. That was a ton of grinding. That was every contract, every challenge, every day. And still, just, oh. I'm honestly rattled. Heroic. Heroic. Faithful 2. That is the nicest sniper variant in the game right now. It is It is just completely... It's so smooth. It is the nicest variant in the game. Hands down. Or one of the nicest sniper variants, I should say. There are some really nice rifles. Some really nice SMGs. That is the best sniper variant. So I cannot wait to show that one to you guys. And it looks great with camouflage patterns on it as well. Resisting Authority, that's a duplicate, duplicate, a bunch of pistol grips. Everyone's enjoying my supply drop opening here. They're all watching. They're very interested. I'm getting 9 social score for every opening now, so that's not bad at all. Headshot. One of the contracts this week was, oh, well, it's a daily contract, and that was to have 15 people watching you when you do a supply drop opening. This entire time, I've only had between six and nine people. Zipper two. I have the zipper one. I think you had to complete a collection to get the zipper one. But now we've got the zipper two, heroic. So even the zipper one doesn't look too bad. So that one's got to be very, very clean. Canada Black Watch. GG. Go Canada. Couple rares and a common. Oh, I just got 10 social score that time. I've got 10 people watching me now. I still think having 15 people watch would be very, very difficult. We've got 17 supply drops remaining. Oh, we've got 12 people now. 12. I just got an extra 25 for this guy opening his supply drop on the other side as well. 40 armory credits. There's another epic. Shingles, which is one of the very first variants I've ever had. And obviously that's going to make it a duplicate. Three duplicates in that drop, actually. There's another epic. Red Guard Infantry. That's another one of those red outfits, which is really nice. I don't use Infantry Division too often, though, so that's kind of a bad side of it. 12 rare supply drops to go. We've had a couple heroics. We've had a couple epics. We've got a couple variants, a lot of outfits, a lot of filler. Hopefully, we can uh, make something happen with these last 10 supply drops. I'm still rattled. I didn't get any variants, any winter variants. Grease 2, which I've already have, which is another heroic duplicate. Again, the second I said something, I've never had a heroic duplicate. And now I have two heroic duplicates in the same opening. We're up to 40,000 armory credits now. I have no doubt in my mind that I'll be able to buy some things. We've got the soggy waff. So we've got the soggy and the oil can in this opening so far. There's a rare... Armory credits, a pistol grip. Six rare supply drops to go. Don't fail me, supply drop gods. COD gods. Whoever's out there, give me something good. More XP, more duplicates. British Commando is a duplicate. More XP, more armory credits. Legendary and two rares. Division XP, weapon XP, armory credits. Filler, 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 filler. That killer filler. One to go. The final rare supply drop. And it's garbage. XP, a duplicate, and armory credits. Basically, the perfect way to sum up my entire opening today. Duplicates and filler. Wow. Wow. I'm honestly kind of upset. 185 supply drops. I got a few epic, or epic and heroic variants. But nothing really to write home about. And no winter supplied no winter variants at all that's just disgraceful we'll go through i'll show you guys because this is insane you can now actually go into the menus and look at each of the variants for every weapon didn't get the capitan didn't get the noble two the chiller you have to unlock by going through the quartermaster but 
no Capitan, no Noble 2. In terms of the Sten, no Royal Skull, no Rooted 2. Frosty, again, you have to go through the Quartermaster. I've already got the Sten and the regular Gavera. In terms of Light Machine Guns, no Capo Verde, no Fiore di Morte 2. Uh, the GPMG is going to be another contract, which will be coming very soon. And then for our secondary weapons, the Melee, the Ice Pick and the Trench Knife, we didn't get the Rattler, we didn't get the Clean Slate, we didn't get the Mean Machine, we didn't get the Teeth Grinder, I didn't get any of those from my Winter Supply Drops. 49 Winter Supply Drops. So basically, if you don't get super, super lucky, or if you don't spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on Supply Drops, you're not going to get these variants, because they're limited time only, and they won't be in the game past the end of the Winter Event. So that's pretty r ridiculous. That was a lot of time spent on getting the Supply Drops for... What well, basically seems like absolutely nothing. But uh, we're going to look at some of the variants that we've got here really quick. Uh, we'll go through the primary weapons first. M1 Garan, we got the Rookie 2. Head into the firing range with this one. There's that weird iron sight I was talking about. Very, very cool. Open iron sight. Might be good, might be bad, might be hard to kind of line up your targets. But it looks not, it's actually not bad. Looks pretty neat. We've also got, I should actually go through each of these individually. Sometimes there's a star that pops up, sometimes there sometimes there isn't. We got Bite the Dust 2 on the M1A1, which, oh man, that looks really nice. Just the black and gold, and it's just the standard iron sight on that one, but it's pretty nice. Moving on, FG42, we didn't get anything. Bar, we didn't get anything. SVT, we got the Siberian, which doesn't actually have a Mark II. So hopefully this one actually looks half decent. And of course not, it's just muddied, paint chipped, looks kind of terrible, and it's got the standard SVT iron sights. But really, it's the only variant like this in the game. There is no Siberian 2 so far. The least you could have done is make the paint job look half decent. Now we've got Gefer, which we didn't get anything for. Grease Gun, we got the Roxy, which looks honestly terrible. <laughs> it looks like a, a raider weapon from Borderlands or something, like a weapon that you see in the Wastelands like after the apocalypse or something like it's just dirty and broken up we've got the duck soup which there is no duck soup too but this variant itself looks pretty cool and i like the iron sights the iron sights are really clean on this i find that i just i prefer these over the reg iron sights i like that little half moon shape at the front and just the whole appeal of the weapon i just really like the look of that weapon i've seen so many people have it and now i have it we've got the empire on the type 100 which looks kind of cool Kind of like Japanese inspired. We got the little emote there with the thumbs up. So that's kind of neat. The WAF, we got the oil can and the soggy. So there's the oil can. Like I said, it's pretty beat up until you get the oil can too. The oil can too is very, very nice and clean. It's like all chrome. It's really nice. This one's kind of more beat up and rusty. And we also got the soggy, which is this kind of weird looking little one. It's kind of shorter very strange looking. I'm not a big fan of those iron sights. I personally prefer to use the trigger happy, which you can get through the quartermaster collection because it's already gold and black. You don't even need a camouflage on there. In terms of M19, M1928, MP40, we didn't get anything. We didn't get any, any LMGs really at all. MG42, we got the buzzsaw and the zipper too. So the buzzsaw, which is the German one. Oh, I like that little inspect animation. He pulls out the little bipod. He does the, you're going to die. That's pretty cool. And that one is unique. There is no buzzsaw too. But here's what I was talking about. The zipper itself, this is the one that I already have. It's already pretty clean. So if we look at the zipper too, this thing is going to be gorgeous, I think. Oh, man. Yes, it is gorgeous. Just very, very clean. Kind of chromey at the front with the brass. The bullet strip looks really nice on this weapon as well really clean the sunlight just reflects off of it very very nice sniper rifles carabin lee enfield i don't think i, I got any of those m1941 however oh we got something the regular faithful i want to show you the difference because this is a big difference the regular faithful here it's just dirty and rusty and honestly it's kind of garbage but it's got a beautiful 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 scope <laughs> the faithful too on the other hand is super clean it's already got that chrome on there. I've seen it with chrome camouflage. It looks amazing. Diamond camouflage. It's probably got to look amazing. I'm going to throw diamond on here really quick. Oh my gosh. Look at that nonsense. One of the cleanest variants in the entire game for sure. Just so, so nice. 
better drop that camouflage again or else it'll show like every weapon that i look at with the chrome camo on or the chrome camo the uh, diamond camo there's the nightmare see this is what i was talking about you get you actually get the fallen from the mountain division not the nightmare even though it says that you're going to get the nightmare so the nightmare is actually a much nicer variant in my opinion it's got that strap along the side looks pretty neat it's just different looking from the uh from the regular ones and the fallen itself is just pretty ugly with that big bag on the side of it like the fallen too looks nice but this one is just dirty and beat up that's the one you get for mastering your mountain division i still don't have a combat shotgun variant toggle action we got the dynamo which is just like a little shorty it's like a little shorty version of the toggle action which is kind of neat and it's kind of very similar to the uh, not the enigma but the flag top they're kind of pretty similar but this one's just short and sawed off shotgun nothing there secondary weapons we got a couple launchers and a couple pistols the 1911 we got the juno this is the one that has a shitty iron sight i knew it i had a feeling about this yep that weird iron sight with the big box on the back makes it very very hard to aim it's kind of ugly honestly it's weird that the 1911 doesn't have any mark ii secondaries like the po8 has a mark ii and so does the machine pistol the machine pistol is a bunch of variants which is why i was saying i'm surprised i don't have a variant yet this one is really long and kind of weird it's uh it's got like a stock on it and everything you think it might make it better i actually really like the iron sights on it but it doesn't make the weapon any better just because it has a weird stock on it like i said i only have two variants left from the m1 bazooka but we got the point blank here which i don't know it's it's the point blank it's kind of similar there's a lot of variants I've noticed that have the same kind of design, like the green paint job with the brass and the yellow letters. Even the Dynamo, it's very similar. Same kind of color scheme, the brass, the, the yellow letters. There's probably some historical significance there. And then we've got the stove pipe, which is kind of dirty and gross. Honestly, it looks like a stove pipe. I mean, if I was going to say anything, it's rusty, it's old, it's kind of got a Celtic theme going down the side, but it's the same Panzer that you might know and love except it will probably fall into that same panzer glitch unless they fix that at this point uh we didn't get any u.s shovel variants any ice pick variants something like that so that is all of the weapon variants that i've got we've got a bunch of new special helmets here so we'll go through our helmets we've got this one kind of looks like a fireman's helmet we've got the cap the flyer which is like an, an airborne helmet we've got this little cap here we've got the turtle and I didn't get any of the higher level ones, like no heroics, no uh, epics or anything like that. I personally just like to use my face mask thing. I've noticed they've changed how the helmets go on. If you're using a special helmet of any kind, it takes away anything that's on your face from your outfit. So like I'm using the clinical nurse, so she gets the face mask. But if you put a helmet on, it takes the face mask off, which I don't like. I'd rather just have the face mask on. We got a bunch of calling cards and a bunch of emblems. I'm not going to go through that right now emotes i'm not going to go through because i'm sure you don't care i personally don't even care myself because who gives a shit they're emotes but in terms of outfits we've got u.s infantry spader not bad not bad okay we've got soviet infantry red guard it looks like they've added a lot more outfits here as well and mechanized infantry i still think clinical nurse looks the best u.s medic clinical clin critical care nurse too sorry go to airborne division we'll check out airborne we got u.s paratrooper talon which okay looks kind of the same as screamer it looks kind of the same as the regular base u.s airborne or u.s airborne just with a different color scheme special operations executive we've also got british air force which is fairly plain yep fairly plain for the british air force on to armored we've got a, a new item in every single category here old iron sides if it would render it looks very similar to that last airborne outfit actually and u.s tanker so those are the same just different colors u.s talker we've got navy code talker 2 versus the regular navy code talker which is just has dirt on it so navy code talker 2 u.s riveter we got the dark riveter that's the one i'm using right now the u.s riveter because i have a heroic in it but i'm not a big fan of that one desert rat is the base so this is the one that you get just immediately when you open up your armored division you just get that one 
but this one actually looks pretty cool 51st naval that's a winter siege item and 62nd naval 2 that's a winter siege item as well so i'm actually going to put that one on because it's 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 just new and it's different and i'd rather use that than anything else uh, mountain division we got a new canadian sniper and that's task force 92 which looks pretty similar to just regular canadian sniper except maybe it's it's green instead of brown oh boy Hold on to your hats, everybody. It's getting pretty nuts in here. We got green instead of brown. And then we got Forest Sapper for the Expeditionary. And we've also got Canada Black Watch. We got Reg Regiment de Maisonneuve, which is awesome. And we got uh, this regular Canada Black Watch. But Regiment de Maisonneuve looks pretty sweet, so I'm going to put that on as well. But those are all the outfits. Those are all of the weapon variants. Now let's head over to the Quartermaster and see what we can do about buying some variants. Because I want to see how close I am to some of these collections. GPMG were one out of eight. Gaffer were four out of eight. And the Sten, the Sten is going to be brutal. This thing costs 30, 3,200, 3,300, not 3,300, 33,000 to unlock. I did the math on it the other day. I got one of the epic items, but like all of these items are epic or legendary, just to keep you away from using the Sten for whatever reason. But uh, Trench Knife, I'm, I'll be working on that today. The contract to get the base Trench Knife. So I'm not going to be buying any of those epics. The Gewehr, I almost got everything except for the two most expensive items. I've also got these lower items, which aren't too bad at all. But the two most expensive items are keeping me away from that one. The GPMG is the only LMG that hasn't actually been part of the supply drop system and the special contracts yet. There looks like there's a lot of things here that i still need to buy i've only got one out of eight so we're not going to be getting that one either and uh the ice pick which i could care less about and still none of the high level items for whatever reason i didn't get any of the high level items to any of these collections at all none of these collections i have i have none of the top two items in any of them that is absolutely ridiculous we're not we're not even going to look at the winter siege anymore because that's making me sick to my stomach We've got, we still need the high level item there, the high level item. We're looking for anything that only needs the high level item, which is 8,900. So I might come back to that. This one is just an outfit, but we need two items there. Four items for the MG15. So that's not going to happen. This one, we need two of the top items as well for the Thrive PPSH M1903. We've got that. Mountaineer, we need the high level item again for that one. Machine pistol, high level items. It almost seems like you're never going to find some of these items. I, I've got Task Force 9-2, but not Task Force 9-1, which I need to get the Tamins off. Like, it's just weird. I find that it's so, so difficult to find those final max level items. Again, the Rookie. I've got the Rookie too, but to get the regular Rookie, I need this 8900 epic item, which apparently I've never come across. Still, need the epic, need the epic need the epic like it's crazy how how much you're just restricted i've got bite the dust too can't get bite the dust one until i get this epic they really screw you over like that this one again you need the epic if you want the wonder Woth. it's absolutely absurd stg you need the epic it's crazy i haven't even noticed this before but that's absolutely insane i need pretty much the epic for every single item but I do have 42,000 credits, so I think I can make an exception here. I think I might be able to buy a couple of these. I'm going to go for some of the ones that I only need one on. So the Candy Grease Gun, why not? We'll spend 8,900 on the Parachute Battalion. And we'll grab that Candy Grease Gun. Great. And the other one that I really, really want to get is the Wunderwaff. The Wunderwaff. Which... Honestly, I don't even... There it is right there. MP40. We're going to get this spearhead outfit. And we're going to get the Wunderwaffe. Which is one of the cooler looking variants in the game, in my opinion. Hopefully, the iron sights don't suck on it because it looks pretty not Pretty nice. Look at that thing. Like the one... It's like a zombie's wonder weapon. I don't think I saw anything else in here that made me go, Oh my god, I need to have that. Like, I have serum too. So, I don't need the original serum. I'll just get it whenever I get it. I have Bite the Dust 2, so I don't need the original Bite the Dust, so I'll just get that when I get that. Special Boat Service, that's just an outfit, so who cares? M1 Garand, I've got the Rookie 2, so I don't need that one. The Tamansov needs an Epic, and that's an outfit. That needs two Epics, so that's not going to happen. That's very, very expensive to get the Machine Pistol. That one again, we need the Epic, and it's just an outfit. 
Thrive. I could go for Thrive on the PPSH. But I've already got a couple PPSH variants, including a Heroic, so I'll probably never use that. Shorty, I need way too many items there. We've got Lee Enfield, the Roundabout. I only need one item, so we'll get the Roundabout as well. Might as may. This is a pretty neat variant. It's Obviously, it's the same kind of camo scheme as some of those other weapons I was talking about. The green, the brown, and the... the the, br the brass and the yellow writing but this is a really cool looking variant it's like it's like really stubby and really short so it's pretty neat as well and i might get the shack man as well because that's a pretty nice variant i i i'm still working on the svt or i like the svt and i'll have to i'll have to purchase uh or i'll have to use it later on to do my review so i might as well pick up the shack man as well and make the gun look really cool while i'm using it We've got 5,000 armory credits left, which I'll probably just hold on to. I don't think there's anything else here that made me scream for joy like I needed it right this second. And even if I did, I can't really afford a lot of items now. And Winter Siege is just a joke. So I could have I bought this if I stayed away from one of those other variants for 8,900. But I think that by the end of this event, I'll probably have enough Winter Supply Drops to do another opening. It won't be as large as this one. Like I said, I was saving up. All of my supply drops in anticipation of this event, in anticipation of the new weapons being added. I didn't know that the new weapons were going to be seasonal exclusive and we'd have to use special supply drops to get them. So I kind of feel shafted in that way, but hopefully by the end of this event, I'll be able to rack up another 50 or so winter supply drops. And maybe in those 50, we might actually get some of these items that we came out here looking for. Not even any of the max items in this entire list did I get. Just a bunch of of crappy common items and then duplicates of those same common items and just duplicate 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 like that was my whole experience here and there are hidden items here as well not even all the emblems are included here looking through in these collections so there are hidden winter siege items in the supply drops so for example i got the team deathmatch emblem which was a winter siege exclusive but it's not part of any of these collections so i just hate how they do that shady shit and they hide their weapons, and they hide their supply drop items and all their filler items in places where you can't find them. It's just, that's really infuriating. But we'll check out these last couple weapons before we round out this video. So we got the rifles. We got the SVT Shackman, which looks pretty nice. I like this one. I like the, uh, the iron sight on it. It's very similar to another SVT variant that I've seen before that I actually have. Except this one's obviously all black and gold, which is nice. We've got the Grease Gun Candy, which again is black and gold. Most of the collection items are just black and gold. This one has a beautiful, beautiful iron sight. Just very, very clean, very easy to use. No more hindsight, that big circle that makes it very difficult to see. And I just like the look of this weapon in general. Just nice and short. It's pretty neat looking. And then we've got the Wunderwaff. I'm going to save the Wunderwaff. I'm going to look at this Lee Enfield first. So the Lee Enfield is kind of a joke. That's the whole thing. It's just a tiny little sniper rifle. It's kind of hilarious. It almost looks like a little 22 or something like that. But it's just as powerful as the regular uh, Lee Enfield. There's no difference. It's just uh, it's just short and weird. And then last but not least, the MP40 Wunderwaff, which is unique. There is no Wunderwaff Mark II. It looks really cool. It looks like one of the coolest variants in the game. Look at that thing. It's pretty neat. It would be awesome if there was a Wunderwaff Mark II, but that's what we have. And it's got the clean iron sights as well. I kind of prefer that little half moon iron sight on the MP40, but I can dig this just because it looks pretty neat. There's little skulls down here on the bottom right hand right hand corner, if you didn't see that, so it's just kind of neat. It even says Wunderwaff on the side. Like I said, a Mark II would look a lot nicer, but I'm I'm happy with this, and I think it's probably the best uh, MP40 that I own. A lot of the MP40 variants are kind of trash. Son of Mars is trashy looking. Do Re Mi is awful. The Do Re Mi 2 is really nice. But Dore Mi, which you get for prestiging your airborne division, just looks terrible. The Wunderwaff is clearly the best option at, at, as of now, anyways, until they add more variants. But that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Just opening up some supply drops. We weren't too, too lucky today. We got a couple heroics. We got a couple items here and there. But no winter items, which is just infuriating to me that I put in so much time to just grind and get all those supply drops and for nothing, more or less. So... Hopefully I can get some more winter supply drops and be back to you guys with another supply drop opening before the end of the winter siege event. I think it's another three weeks long, so it should easily, I should easily be able to collect a lot of supply drops by that point. 
Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you are new to Black Tide TV. Make sure you check out my links in the description. You can follow me on Twitter at Black Tide TV. If you're one of the first three people to comment on today's video, you'll be entered into my into my giveaway. So that's obviously something that you want to do. You want to be entered in my giveaway if you want to win an Astro A20 headset. You can also sponsor me on YouTube Gaming. And you can, what else can you do? You can follow and retweet the tweet that's pinned to the top of my profile, my Twitter page. And you can subscribe to my secondary channel, which will have a new video this Thursday. Every Thursday, we have a video podcast talking about nerdy kind of things that are out there like Star Wars. This week, we're talking about Avengers Infinity War again. We are wrapping up last week's topic. So check that out if you have the time. And uh, yeah, that's going to conclude today's video. I will catch you guys on the next one.